in this video we will learn about position distance and displacement in our daily life we see lots of things moving around us for example car passing through from one place to another person riding on a bicycle and many other things in scientific terms an object is said to be in motion if it changes its position with the passage of time and if it does not changes its position with the passage of time it is said to be at rest now both motion and rest are relative terms for example a mobile kept on a table is resting at its position but it is moving in the sense as earth is rotating on its axis so for a person seeing mobile from earth it is at rest and for person on moon earth seems to change its position with time and so mobile is also moving the simplest case of motion is rectilinear motion which is the motion of an object along a straight line in our discussion of describing the motion of an object we will treat the object as a point object object now object under consideration can be treated as a point object if size of the object is much smaller than the distance traveled by it in a reasonable time duration for example length of a motor car traveling a distance of 500 km can be neglected with respect to the distance traveled by it here in kinematics we studies the ways to describe the motion without going into the cause of motion <coughs> now first concept of kinematics we would like to discuss is position now to locate a position of a particle in motion or at rest we need a frame of reference Now simplest way to choose a frame of reference is to choose three mutually perpendicular axes that can be labeled as x y and z axis So let me draw a frame of reference So this is our frame of reference and we can label each of its three mutually perpendicular axes as x axis y axis and z axis <coughs> now such a system of labeling position of an object is known as rectangular coordinate system let a be the position of any point in rectangular coordinate system and it can be labeled as ax y and z so this position is x here it is y
and this is Z. Uh, this point O is the point of intersection of three mutually perpendicular axes and is known as region of frame of reference. This point O. To measure the time we can also attach a clock with this frame of reference. If any one or all of the coordinates of the object under consideration changes with time in the frame of reference the the object is said to be in motion with respect to this frame of reference otherwise it is uh, said to be at rest with respect to uh, this frame of reference now for describing motion of a particle in one dimension we only need one of of the three coordinate axes that is that is uh, we can either choose x y or z axis for the description of motion of the particle No. Motion of an object along a straight line along straight line is an example of motion in one dimension. one dimension motion. A position of any object can be measured with respect to origin. This has the line of motion of the particle. This is the origin from where the particle starts. This is suppose 100 kilometers, 200 kilometers, 300 kilometers and so on. This is positive x axis and here on the left hand side negative x axis say this is minus 100 minus 200 minus 300 and so on now suppose a man walks along positive x axis at time t the man is at um, uh, distance 100 km for, from the origin at t1 it is at 200 km and so on so um, we can measure position of a man walking along positive x axis with the passage of time now positions on the right hand side of the origin has positive values and on that of the left hand side of the origin has negative values. Now, after describing the position of an uh, object, we will now uh, define the distance 
and displacement now I will first draw my figure uh, to describe the distance and displacement of an object now this graph shows an object is, is at position P at time T1 and at position R at time T2 in the time interval from T1 to T2 particle has traveled path P Q R and length of the path P Q R is the distance traveled by the object in the time interval T1 to T2 now we connect the initial position of the object P with its final position R through a straight line so let me draw connect the line now I have connected this la, uh, this point P and R through a straight line and this straight line um, is the displacement of the object so displacement of the object has both magnitude and direction so uh, since the displacement of the um, object has both magnitude and direction it is a vector quantity now magnitude of a displacement vector is equal to the length of straight line joining initial and final position and its direction points from the initial position of the object towards the final position of the object in contrast to displacement distance is a scalar quantity